So, hello everyone. Welcome to our inaugural live stream that will be broadcasted, which is a bit scary. So, Gong Si Fa Tai. Happy New Year, guys. 身体健康，年年有余。So, in anticipation of that, or or Gong Hei Fa Choi, mispronouncing it badly for everyone. No, no, no. I would say Gong Si Fa Choi, but like. If you're white and you mispronounce it, this is also for you. You know, we're just saying that only Chinese people can listen to this. You know, this is an everyone inclusion. <laughs> yeah, just saying, if you want to mispronounce it and wish someone, so everyone, whatever. Oh, oh. 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 no! Because it'd be too awkward for me to give it to you individually. Oh. But wow. you. are you nervous? Why didn't I get it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Sure, you never that. told us. <laughs> Why have we just not? Just so you know. Speaking of that, when you're getting married, huh? <laughs> <laughs> If anyone at home asks, that is the question we always hear at Chinese New Year. Yeah, right. I got a girlfriend. That when, you I, I, when do you want to start playing cards? <laughs> in that specific tone. In that specific tone. <laughs> so close. So, oh my gosh! It's so, you know this is so random. Is it rude to open it right now? So, so, and so this is this is for this is for our. Yeah, so no guys, way. Also, this uh, is a sign. No way. That you can keep the D twenty. But second thing. Awesome. That's your only. That's your single point of inspiration to everyone. Oh, yes. Yes. you can use it that down. all you will for this one shot. Ooh. I recommend you save it up. <laughs> Spend the coin to get inspiration from the DM. Thank Pretty you. like I want to wear it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I feel like I want to hold it. It's yours. Just say you want to like use it. Break it off. Like, okay. okay. You can reroll a single D twenty. Okay. Right. Oh, so I get. So my lucky becomes four. <laughs> Technically true. Yeah. But, um, okay, that's the first thing off the list. Um, <laughs> second thing. Okay, 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 okay. So this is a Chinese New Year one shot where we will be going through an adventure, definitely. But it's a, it's um, the story of why we celebrate Chinese New Year, basically. Bad old cliche. It's the story of Nian. The traditional story is a lot simpler than what we have now. This one's a very Dramat dramatized and adventurous telling of it. Lots of blood, I hope. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. That's oh, why you yeah. get the red. Because red is auspicious, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, God, totally. Yes. Hey, the redder, the more auspicious. Yeah. We ran out red. We ran out red paint. What should we do? We should probably kill someone. Ah. <laughs> Probably. That's why we're wearing red, so you won't see us bleed. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm wearing brown hair. pants. <laughs> <laughs> I got the idea. Brown pants, red shirt. <laughs> yeah. Can't lose. <laughs> okay, so. That's about all I have. So, if we could dive into player introductions. Sure. And Jeanette, um, what do we say about ourselves? Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want. Introduction, like. I'm bad at introductions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi guys, I'm Pet. Um, let's see. I'm Pet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hope everyone enjoys uh, what we're gonna play today. <clears throat> And hopefully you learn something about Chinese New Year as well. Hopefully we don't die. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, well, that's kind of a given. Uh, hi guys, I am Kevin. Um, uh, it was me and John who decided to sort of throw this thing together. Yeah. Like from the inception of this idea for this stream, all the way down to doing this specific thing for, for you guys at home today. Kevin's downplaying his involvement. Everything, every production sure, thing sure. is thanks to him. All this in invisible setup that you guys can't see. Yes, yeah. yeah. like the us. setup, the cameras, the yeah. lighting, the it's audio, insane. the sound engineering. That's all on Kevin. Like, so plus, plus uh, do something cool in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's on Mellow. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Hi, Mellow. Mellow's on. Uh, Mellow's are invisible chief for now. <laughs> Mellow is our goblin? Mellow is our unseen servant. <laughs> <laughs> because of her, it's a ritual before this. <laughs> <laughs> At will, right? Yeah. 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 We'll recast in an hour's time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Greg, you're up. Uh, I'm Greg. Uh, I'm fairly new to D and D, but I kind of lucked out and ran into uh, everyone here at the table. Um, I've been welcomed with open arms, and I feel very humbled to be here. Um, Aww. Yeah. Aww. 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 It's true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> he won't say that to his character dies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure no one will die. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna no, use that you. inspiration for deception. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Right, um, I'm Nicholas. Um, <coughs> actually, I would have to say that even though yes, we are all Chinese, my Chinese is really bad. My Mandarin is really bad. So if I screw up with some Chinese words, uh, yeah, forgive me. 
<laughs> all the Chinese scientists always tell me like, oh no, you're a Chinese boy, why don't you, why can't you speak Mandarin? <laughs> <sighs> I bet they don't say it like that. They say it in Chinese, except it's, you don't know how I to can't, say it. I can't repeat it. <laughs> oh no, I can repeat it for you. Boy, why are you Chinese so bad, huh? They say it in Chinese. Yeah, yeah but they don't think that too. Yeah. <laughs> but then he doesn't know what they're saying, so... She's doing that. Okay, okay, you just bow and like, hmm. <laughs> and then you think I'm <laughs> To be fair, I, I, I think it's been years, years as well. Uh, uh, and last person. Yes, okay. Um, my name is Pauline. I don't really know what I am doing, but I will try my best. And watch us as we butcher the story of Nian. But you can click the link somewhere for the real story of Nian. In the doobly doo. Doobly doo. Doobly doo. Anyway. Thanks, Colville. Thanks, Mike Colville, for the idea. And I will hand the character and the player character introductions over to Kevin. Okay. Alright. So, today, I'm playing a character called Tai Guan. I'm playing Tai Guan. He's a human warlord. Now, warlord is a class that we brought over from 4E. Uh, we converted it to 5E to fit the 5E rules. So we're trying that out today. Uh, he is a he has Asian features and he's very much built for war. Uh, and my story starts. My story starts after having run away from a warlord who killed my father, took me in as a slave, and I escaped his slave pens. And on my way to escaping to freedom, I ran to an old kitsune named Kudong. He is a kitsune sorcerer cleric. Shadow Sorcerer and um, Survival Cleric. Um, it's a strange combination. I mean, yeah, cool. <laughs> Alright, he's a Kitsune. He seem, he's wearing medium armor, so he's quite... It's relatively clunky. However, he goes around and he moves very smoothly like darkness. Shadow is moving around. And I am... A very jaded old man. I used to be a hero, but the kingdom abandoned me, and I decided that they no longer deserve my help. And I see this young, naive hero trying to do good in the world. I'm gonna crush him and crush all his dreams and ideals. It's gonna be sweet. I don't notice this. <laughs> I, myself, my, my goal and my ideal is to sort of um, end this cycle of violence that this land is in. The, the land that we are in right now is just warring states, warlords who benefit from the continued cycle of violence, fighting for fighting's sake. And for <laughs> me, that fighting, like the end, the, the beginning of peace starts with the killing of the four beasts and then we can start working towards the unification of the land. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, one fine day, as I'm having my spirited philosophical debates with my new mentor, uh, a streaking comes across the sky, a bright light... A naked guy just runs across. <laughs> <laughs> a tiny M! <laughs> Side-scrolling. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this comet streaks across the sky, and to me that is a sign. And I convince my otherwise reluctant mentor to come with me to investigate. So, sure, I mean, I'm pretty sure you will find your disappointment there. <laughs> so, go ahead, try. <laughs> and he's following me because he wants to see that look. That, that look of loss and like, what? There's nothing here. Uh, it's just a hole in the ground. Yeah. We want to see his. We want to see his will break. Yes. <laughs> oof. I like it. Oof. <laughs> Dark. Anyway, as we journey to the north to find this, uh, find this comet, we come across a rather leathery and crotchety goblin. So I'm playing um, a goblin named Lausi. Uh, he is really, really old for a goblin. Uh, I know, law-wise, goblins live till about 70-ish. He's going to be... Uh, does he count? He may not be able to count higher than 50. 120, let's say. Really, really old for a goblin is what I'm getting at. So he's 
Um, so I love playing goblins. They are my favorite race. Uh, and the reason why I love playing goblins is nobody ever expects a goblin to be really badass. So he is going to be uh, stereotypically, yes, like a goblin, he's going to be whiffy, annoying, small, but he's also old and wise, so definitely leathery. The rest of the party are gonna be like, you know, what's this crazy old man doing here? What's this crazy old goblin doing here? Sitting on a rock, cross-legged. As you pass by, he says, <clears throat> Hello there. You look like a man on a mission. Hi, old man. And what is your name? Taekwon. Too long, too long. I will call you. You look like a Kingsley. I shall call you Kingsley. Sure. Laosi is the name. Hi, Laosi. By name only. Not really all that much by nature. Not much. Sometimes name relays the nature. I'll just tell you that. Sometimes, but I've outlived most of the lies. Mm, really? He's like, he's really, he's bald, he's got like a beard, he's wearing nothing except a tattered, filthy loincloth. Oh god. <laughs> Can you please tell everyone what you are though? I am a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Was that not? Yeah, I did mention a leathery <laughs> goblin. Oh, okay. I thought I heard. No, I'm a, I'm a... So, <laughs> <laughs> trailed by my two companions, the uh, rather rather bristly Kitsune and the rather leathery goblin, we make our way to the north. It takes us many, many days of travel, weeks even, months even, and by the time we reach the spot where we're sure the uh, comet fell, what do we find? <laughs> you find a spot that has already been filled with snow and somehow, somewhere as you glance across the entire plain of white, you see uh, a little bit of specks. There's this really very, very arctic tabaxi, this characters. Her name is Ru Yin, as in like a swallow because she fell from the sky like a swallow falling down. And she's an Arctic tabaxi. She has completely white with her tail of seven stars, seven black stars, like all around her tail. And she's kind of short, pretty ageless. People like look at her and she's like, oh, she's like a child and all that, but we don't really know how long she has lived already. I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. As that happens, uh, oh, she's dying. Right. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> you see a little white bunny sort of uh, just as you know, it starts hopping around and suddenly shape changes to a human. Hi, so I'm playing Meng Jie today. Um, he's a Hua Jing rabbit, so he's got two forms. He's got a rabbit form and a human form, which he can switch to and from every uh, anytime he likes. Actually, um, he's in his rabbit form. He's actually quite cute. Um, fluffy hair, fur rather, um, and that translates when he moves into a human form. His hair is luscious white, um, everyone likes to look at him, he's pretty dashing. He's not very tall, maybe about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, um, wears a breastplate under uh, some uh, leggings and um, a long sleeve sort of Chinese shirt. Um, catches this uh, white tabaxi as uh, she falls. Um, and sort of slows down her fall and tries to sort of feed some snow, a little bit of water. I, I rush over and I pull out my water skin and I pour some in her mouth. My fur gets wet. <laughs> <laughs> now to be honest, this is the first time I've seen people be nice to tabaxis. Yeah, that's why I'm like, well, because I, I don't really know. I'll be like, who are you? Well, you don't, you don't see don't me. You don't seem like me. Uh, today I'll be playing uh, Taiga. Taiga is from the Arctic. It's the northern uh, side of like uh, this area. Um, he is silver-haired, piercing blue eyes. It's kind of a instead of a salt and pepper, it's kind of a salt and silver kind of thing going on. Um, armor is definitely function over fashion. You don't see me, but I see all this happen. Oh no. Um, We're hanging back, aren't we? Yeah. Because I've let the young ones do know. I've come from <laughs> I've come from the north. Um, I'm Taiga. I'm an Arctic Tabaxi as well. Um, but I've come from the north having had visions of a comet 
following it, I always thought that a comet or something like this, the vision that I had rather, was um, a weapon of man or something like that. Sorry to disappoint no, you. No, no, that's, that's, hey, it's, to see people as to actually, like, you, I, I, I'm still probably hiding, I'm, I think I might be in a tree, just watching this all go down, but um, just to let you know. I'm around. waiting for somebody to betray somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Curse your inevitable but predictable betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not <Right>. sure. <laughs> I really do. Okay. I think after yeah, I would have after seeing how kind, especially I think you are, and you are to her. I would have revealed myself. This is a new thing for me. I do not trust people. Full stop. Um, but. I believe in something. Something brought us here, and this comment was it. And uh, willing to kind of forgo my personal um, experiences for something that's really, you know, this is this is a big thing. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I know it's a big thing. So that's why I'm here. Well, <laughs> seeing a comet, it's not every day you see a comet, you know. Um, <laughs> took me a while to get here, uh, but I'm here. And what an interesting group I see. As are we all. Yeah, right. And the universe has brought all six of us together. And you know, stories, they do not unwind. They weave. Events that start in different places and different times all bear down on this one tiny point in the spatial and chronological planes. We know this as, and we know this as being in the right place at the right time. And I believe this is the right place and this is the right time. Yes, it's called serendipity. It's very old Tabaxi saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a lot of people know this, but it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. that, that is yeah. also what they call in Chinese <laughs> 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 Yes, like you mean we sell it? Oh. You, 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 this snow is actually all salt. Yes. <laughs> no, there is no salt. salt uh, there is no snow because all the salt has melted it. Oh. Yes. Just the snow melts as you walk. Anyway, you. So this, these six Avengers go on to do great things and great exploits. So as you return to the village of Tao Chun after your most recent adventure. You see carriages all slowly moving out of the village as if they are preparing for some sort of great evacuation. Mm. I go to find the first, like, I assume I would know who is in charge in the town. Yes, it is a village chief known as Tun Li Yong. Sorry, it took me a while to think about the name. I go up to Li Yong. Mm-hmm. And I ask him, what's going on? He turns to you. Don't you know? The winter, sol- the winter solstice is almost over. It is almost spring. Have you not wondered why this village has always been safe? I assumed what we had been doing had been helping with the safety of this village. He turns, the minor threats perhaps. But have you not wondered why the four beasts never came here? Honestly? No. Not till this point I hadn't. The rest of you? I told you, they would never want to thank you. I'd always assumed you all were too scrawny to eat. The weather is changing. My flower will not survive winter. Yeah, it changes like it happens all the time, so like get used to it and stuff. <laughs> he turns to you, it's taking a look at him, he's this very fairly old man holding a he's supporting on a wooden cane of sorts. <clears throat> Just very plainly, but the wrinkles and you can see in his eyes it's very it's very old weary look to him. He turns to all of you. Well, you overestimate yourself, I'd say. We're only safe because of a great beast who live in its shadows. It's a beast known as Nian. And every year, it comes and terrorizes our village. I'm sorry, Is I must like... have misheard you. I thought you said this creature keeps you safe? 
all the other creatures fear it. So we, every year, the young and the able leave the village and the old ones are kept as sacrifice. That's unacceptable. That makes a lot of sense. Absolutely unacceptable. He turns to you. (laughs) 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 It starts now. It starts now. (laughs) As you see, betrayal. (laughs) We could could send that one as the sacrifice. The salt will kill the (laughs) Nian. So this is like Nian. It's uh, it, it flies. No. Does it fly through through sky with like rainbow Rainbows. behind it, or like uh, no. like through stars, <laughs> or like make noise and things? You, you can you can identify it by its call. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's like very familiar. I thought I heard it when the comet goes by. I thought, oh, this is the thing from my. But it's different. Okay, <laughs> not flying thing. That's good to know. Oh so, wait, wait, wait. So, so out of character, your visions of the comet were Nian cats. <laughs> I'm not saying they weren't. <laughs> oh my god, like a boxy. Exactly. That's why he's following them. Meanwhile, Nian screams serious, internally. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> After this, we're making John watch 10 hours of Nian Cat. (laughs) Please don't. Anyway. Links below. (laughs) The old man turns to all of you. He turns, well, that's the way we've done to survive. The rest of the world is too hectic to live. It is only once a year. It's for one day, a bit of bloodshed for one day, for the other, for the rest of the year, for our children, for our grandchildren to live. I think it's acceptable. You look like you're getting on in years. Is it your turn soon? He turns like, it is actually my turn this year. What happens to all of your knowledge? <clears throat> he turns, turns to you a bit quizzically like, it's not passed down and I die. That's a little silly, but okay. What a shame, what a shame. <laughs> this is... You know what? Get the old people out of here. Take them with you. We will stay behind. He turns to you. No, it is unacceptable. You're still young. Your stories have yet to be finished. Let me do this. <laughs> what if this part, what if today I'm our meeting and us asking to leave is part of our story? He turns to you. Psh, you you're thinking of fighting Nian. Really? Like, or maybe not, like we just meet this guy and like many more decisions to make. Maybe later decision is part of our big story rather than fighting huge crazy thing. Just, you know. Well, to me, it's worth <clears throat> the gamble. I you agree. lose six of us. And if that so much happens, if that so happens, the next time you can keep going. But on the off chance that we succeed, no one else needs to die. And that, to me, is a price worth paying. And at this point, you see coming from the side, like, you see someone pass, you're in the town center, and you see someone come out from one of the doors, one of the houses behind him. It's this very much more sprightly younger gentleman who you know as the captain of the guard of this village, who is also his son. <clears throat> the man rushes in and he turns to his father dear you should listen to these people i'm not okay with you sacrificing yourself if it need be i will fight with these people to the end he turns to you like one can you do you believe you have a chance i do especially with my friends and i look around Mm. at the five that surround me. He means me. We are like we are super tight, but you guys, uh, you're okay also. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the cat. <clears throat> I look over to the group. So, what will happen if you fail when Yen gets angered? Leon, you are going to get blamed. Leon turns. Uh, that is true. If Nian really is angered, will yeah. the village not pay the price? So, would they not thank you as their heroes? <laughs> here to be thanked but if Nian indeed needs a sacrifice and we do not succeed he will have at least six 
Mm. Guys, this is like nature 101. You have like food chain and you have guy at top and then you have like rest of things. We are rest of things. <laughs> like you are like, oh, humans are bad. Oh, kill all of the nature, make the world like it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> like really. For real, you can go and sit, try to say if you can sacrifice yourself. But if you fail and he is angered, he is going to take apart the town. And what then? For me, I will try. If you don't want to be here, that's fine too. I understand. You may have your reservations, <coughs> seeing as this Nian must by now have a penchant for eating old people. <laughs> No. We it's like jerky. <laughs> <laughs> it's like because it's leather, like it's like it's like, uh, like dog chew gum toys for uh, for like what's those? Like yeah, it's like dog chew toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry and, oh, so delicious. Yeah. No. Well, failure is then not an option. Upin looks at you. Sorry, Upin looks at you. He. I know a few people. I can must have a few people who are willing to rush to the defense. They'd rather die than see their parents be slaughtered as sacrifices. As they should. As they should, yeah. Absolutely. I will take, I will take... He can see you. It's something I'd rather not do, but I'm not very happy about it, but it's something I'm willing to do. Oh, someone broke window over there. (laughs) You see a child, like, looking like, like, you see him throw a rock and like... (sighs) Runs off. I don't think like he's happy with this. Yes. Uh, I, young men, young men. Life like is a apples, series of natural, apples, like spontaneous apples. changes. Do not resist them. That only creates <laughs> sorrow. Let oh, reality. He ran into gold! Oh my god, that little child. <laughs> <sighs> As with that child, let things flow naturally forward and go wherever they like. Ow. We will go with. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. Don't like run inside places. Just like be walk at cool. I think the sun's getting a little further away. You should have had your rice. I think. <laughs> well, hero, I will be following you to watch this chaos unfurl. I will be by there by your side. As a Kitsune old friend, I always thought chaos was rather your forte. No, I was rather much a lawful man in the past. Yes, the humans. The humans are the chaotic ones and see what that has turned <coughs> people into. I will prove you wrong one day, old man. No. no, see, this is why I like to hang out with him, because we are also same like little wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Humans are like thick yeah, guys. I know. Yeah, I <laughs> Humans. Plus, among all of us, he is saltiest. And Even. among all of us, I am like the only <laughs> human. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's well, true, right? Yes. 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 Who been to say you? Also, shall we? Yes, I've been sure. thinking about this for almost a year now. Gather who you can. I will okay. take any volunteers. No one needs they stay. They don't different. have training, though. That's all right. We will find uses for them. We can we have them help fortify our defenses. He turns to all of you. I. <laughs> yes. How? Oh, <laughs> yes. He's corrupting forces in front of them. I say the truth as it is. Isn't that what you mean? We will take we'll take all the help we can get. We will fortify the town, but anyone who cannot hold a blade means, to fight mm-hmm. should leave with the elderly. We'll be to you. Indeed. I will I will let them in. If they are afraid to die, they don't need to come with us. Well, they know. like numbers are good. I mean, like surely some people die, so you send them first. So, That's how it works, and then like wear down like the thing. And then, like, we can be like, good guy, come in. And you see, the young kind of just turn to all you, like, uh, suicidal young idiots. He walks I, off. I know. He walks off. We've been turned to you. Well, I guess time to prove my father wrong. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. <clears throat> we have about a week before Nian's horde descends upon town. And do we wait for him here? Or do we travel to face him? I'd suggest we fight off most of his forces here. 
And then we might decide finding the creature if we survive the horde. What do the town's defenses look like? Have you seen the town? It's really small. We have a few watchtowers, maybe a few walls at most. We have a week. I think... We have a very busy week. It kind of looked like bullseye from the air, if you think about it. The little town... I think it, I've walked yeah, around a little bit. My yeah. rabbit friend, you look I can fly to the top and like, make yeah, a yeah, 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 thing. Yeah. It's not that. I, no, that's the. the and then you mentioned the word horde. Maybe tell us a little more about the attack or well, the parent's attack. Well, we know. I think you said horde, not like cord. No, I horde. think no, there's like no rope coming or like. <laughs> Things to tie down. I mean, surely we need to tie things down. Yeah. So do get cord. Question. But go ahead. You know. No, it's, I was just. Sh- <laughs> I I suggest we we lay traps. We have the upper hand. We have the upper hand of we know they're coming. We've been to you. How about I get on the men first, and we'll meet in an hour. Young man. Sure. Young man. What exactly are we fighting? What is this creature and the, this horde? The creatures are. Well, the smaller creatures, at least, they are. They have sort sort of hierarchy, if you think, like an alpha wolf per se. The alphas are a lot harder to kill, but we we know that they are susceptible to fire, at least. Lobsters also and have loud hierarchy. noises. <laughs> and and it's loud noises. susceptible to fire. We've scattered some of them in the years, but never enough. Hmm. At least none of us are. There's never enough. Numbers to muster. Okay. I suggest you go get our men. We will see what we can do knowing this. Okay. And he, he moves off. I think it's Lost Cause, guys. For real. Like, oh, shut so your trap you, to Betsy. Like, you can the have two you. of you have just been the most <laughs> aggressively <laughs> anti-everything. No, no, it's no. Like I, I'm on your side, but I can... I see where his point both of you come from. Have you not traveled with us before? Every, uh, like, at Every all the time I say this, it's like, yeah, and we arrive in a new what? town, and it's like, oh, great, new town. I wonder if it has blacksmith. Oh, look, a blacksmith. I wonder if it's pub. Oh, look, a pub. It's like, always the same. It's kind of bullshit. People are just like, spreading around. Like, And that's why we have something different. Now uh, we get to fight this Nian thing. I, I, and... Uh, I'm like super excited. Oh, since we've already signed up for this quest, let's get on to it, right? I up and so, in an hour, do you want to do anything specifically? Well, or? I want to ask uh, like our group, do we have any capability of doing anything that makes a lot of noise? I can actually assist with that. Ooh. Does not I can gong? animate gongs. There. I knew you could! See? You can be helpful. To be I fair, am, there was am. a very loud gonging when the child <laughs> hit it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I kicked it again, it didn't work. Just get me <laughs> 10 gongs and I'll just crash them against each other. <laughs> uh, I do suggest we can put a lot of the men to work for the week. Mm-hmm. Digging traps. Because if we know that they are coming, we know that they will be coming through certain entry points. We funnel them through certain entry points and we lay traps for them there. If possible, I think we might have to add some fire traps. Those that will at night when they get crossed. It sure. might, it might be prudent to try and starve some of these horde while they're coming down. Also, there are watchtowers. And I do know the two of you have some great proficiency with hitting things from far away. If you can thin their numbers before they get here. I like the climb. I like that. So... Uh, gathering, as in what you know about the town, mm-hmm. there's about at most four watchtowers. We have a week until they get here, right? You have about a week. Okay. What time, what's the weather? I sleep like? for like six days. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> <laughs> what season is it? It's in between like exactly. the end what's of the winter, weather? about approaching spring, so it's not too cold. About 17 degrees centigrade, I'd say. Is kindling scarce? There is there are forests around here. Yes, if Do you we want to get there. 
But it's winter. Not really. It's just on the like end of winter. You should be able to find some kindling. You, you could probably find some kindling. I could go yes. with you if you're looking we've for been, So the hour passes. Ubin finally returns to you with a sizable group of men. About... I'd say about 50 at most. Around 50. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second to work in the forest. I he, say... Uh, Ubin turns to you as the men are gathered outside. He ushers you into his home. Where you see his father just sitting there drinking tea with the most... Like, FFS, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, his expression. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I assume uh, that two of them are sitting I'm together. Sitting <laughs> yeah, you're just discussing like this. You, can you convince your friends? This is a stupid idea. Ah uh, no, I'm gonna let them. I'm just gonna watch them try. I sincerely hope like you let them try and then they faint and then you bring them elsewhere. Ah, uh, actually, that was no the plan. use for the young to pay too much for their mistakes. Well. Okay, the thing is right now. As they're outside doing the work, mm-hmm. and I'm talking to this old man, mm-hmm. my face actually softens a bit and I ask him, so, do you sincerely not look forward to anything else in life, old man? He turns, well, this is how it has always been done. <laughs> Don't follow the traditions of what other people tell you. Well, I mean, what are all the options? We go out into the world and get killed by whatever's running around? <laughs> I'd rather guarantee that my grandchildren can live. That is a thought. That is indeed a thought. And when it comes to the eternal timer, your grandchildren will also be fed to this beast. Oh, you're here! (laughs) 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 No, not this year! You are skulls! Yeah. (laughs) Place it on the table. (laughs) You know, it's not very nice to eavesdrop. I was not eavesdropping. I have a horse tail whisk. Like it's a it's a quarter staff uh, for a goblin. It's a quarter staff, but it's got like a horse tail on the end. <laughs> you. That's not you? very nice to do something to that to your elders. Well, I think you're older than me, aren't you? <laughs> We're around the same age, actually. <laughs> oh God, damn it! <laughs> I've been a I've been no, a wise man sure for a long time. Like <laughs> I've been a wise man before you were even a twinkle in your father's eye. Anyway, um, Ubin is with Daekwon and the rest yes. of you. He's like, he turns to you, Well, so while the elderly go on with their things, I, we should probably discuss plans. Let me speak to the men first. I was, before we do that, I was suggesting you might be able to train these men. Sure, I will do what I can. Can I hobble over? I'm bored You're not now. there. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, these other old people are depressing. <laughs> I want them. He turns to you, We have some supplies, um... <clears throat> these men are to be honest these men don't really know what to do mm. they don't know if this is possible he t- he kind of just <sighs> I mean we've sent our families over but all these men we're not willing to let our parents die very well um you mentioned that there are... I, I, I have noticed you have four watchtowers around the town. Indeed. I figure the best chance we have of fighting the horde is by laying traps for them as they approach into our town, mm-hmm. but also thinning their number. Do you know if any of them are proficient with a bow and arrow? Can it's I just nice. ask, um, to your point, um, if all along the watchtower... Um, are people who are proficient? Um, I say this as the um, as the Joker, I guess. Maybe to the like thief. Perhaps you're no, you're. I guess you're more thiefy. Uh, never mind. I won't carry him. It's gonna go all along the watchtower. Oh, the Joker, the thief. Yes, I anyway. know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Miss, that's the one. <laughs> Love it. First of the night on jokes. I'm, Going to message him and make it seem as if it's your own idea, okay? To tell him about maybe make, digging trenches and filling them with tar, basically going further on to um, create potholes in the ground where the hordes will come in and get the, get, the, get the men to dig the trenches. And I basically put it like in your own voice, so you think it's your own <laughs> idea. <laughs> what if we dig trenches? <laughs> <laughs> he does too. That can be arranged, but... Well, how about you address the men first, and then 
We can talk planning. Sure. At this point, can I appear there? Yeah. 60 feet movement speed, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just stepping out from behind. Ah, the moral man does something. And when, and when that achieves nothing, he rolls up his sleeve and uses force. And then I'm going to just wander away. You just, you see Ubin just like, do you... You'll get used to it. I will yeah. take your one on that. <clears throat> also, if you want to be super, like, not nice guy, you have trench with pitch on fire. And behind it, you have trench with spike sticks. That so works. people jump over Great. fire into sticks. Well... They're by they're quadrupedal beasts, so Oh, it's like Didn't... animal thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll dig di- we'll we'll dig wider trenches. That's pro but why don't you just the men first then? Absolutely. I I walk out towards the gathered they fifty ish men? About fifty ish men. They're gathered around this sort of <coughs> blossoming tree. Um I actually just walk by behind you and just Watch as you do everything. And just like glower next to you. Mm-hmm. And, I sure. touch, and I just swiftly touch you a bit of guidance. And I, I can thaumaturgy you as well. So your voice travels 300 feet. Wow. So and you, as you step up this <laughs> sort of makeshift kind of stage. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> you, you step on top of this makeshift kind of stage. Addressing what seems to be about 50-ish men and women who have opted to stay behind. They are holding various farming equipment. Some of them have very rudimentary kind of spears. Mm-hmm. A few of them have swords. <clears throat> They're all very young though, from what you can tell. And you can see the trees around you. It is the onset. The onset of spring is starting to appear. You see some of the flowers starting to open in a kind of very pink, like peach. They're basically peach blossoms. And you see the petals slowly swelling as the wind blows by. I will sit at the corner of the stage, cross-legged. Oh, <laughs> there we have it. There we go. <laughs> there, we go. <laughs> yeah. there we go. There we go. Makeshift special effects. <laughs> High budget stuff, man. <laughs> and as you stand on the stage, they all, while we're gossiping, they're doing quietens. And they turn their gaze to you. I look out at them. Spring. Wonderful time of year, isn't it? It's a time of change. It's a time of new beginnings. It's a time of growth. A time to throw off the old traditions. It's time for us to have our own spring. Take back what is ours. Stop living in fear and terror of the winter. It is time for us to say no more. No more will another child become an orphan overnight. No more will this town live in terror. I know why you are all here. I share that sentiment. It is not okay that fathers and mothers and grandfathers and grandmothers, aunts, uncles, people who matter to us would lay down their lives to save us if we didn't at least try to save them first. I know why we are here. I know you know why we are here. I don't expect all of you to have training, to have martial abilities, to be able to fight this creature off by themselves, and that's why we are here. But if you are all willing, Everyone could always use a helping hand. At this point, you see Ubin take out his sword and just thrust it to the sky and, mm-hmm. and shout out praise. And you see the whole Let's crowd see. just like, Hah! Can I, uh, so, um, uh, was it Wu Ping? Wu Ping. He started shouting. Yeah. Would it be um, correct to say that Wu Ping started uh, whooping with Wu-ping. joy? Wu Ping! <laughs> I just, want to, I just want to make sure for my notes. <laughs> this is uh, yes, not yes. not enjoy, but I guess in exclamation and in okay. So from behind, slightly him, in defiance. By the way, John, out of character. Someday I will name an island after this guy, Pulau Ubin. <laughs> <laughs> I live close to there. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, I'm casting minor illusion behind him as well to make him more. Okay, sure. I'm supporting my hero. <laughs> so. <laughs> You don't know this. No Wait, did anyone hear that? I don't have the perception to know that out loud. No, I'm mean, just supporting your <laughs> hero. No, this is old. This is old. Do I know what he's doing? You have a person that no, has a yeah, do I know? 26. Six. I know you're trying to cast Mind Illusion to help him. I'll be like... I'm casting darkness on myself. <laughs> I'm moving away. Okay, then I will replace the Mind Illusion or whatever he's doing. Sure. Um, cast darkness on so, myself. So, the crowd starts to settle down. <laughs> Go away. They disperse to your individual kind of groupings. Lupin turns to you. Well, we have about six days. Okay. If you wish to train the men, that would be it. Train them. This would be the time. I will get to that. First things first. Can you help me divide the men and women up? I need them to be divided into groups that can or have some ability to use a bow and arrow. I they need those. Don't, not all of them do, but you have two fairly proficient bowmen on yes. your part. I'm pretty sure they can train them if they wish. Absolutely. Uh, Anyone? It's, it's both and people. at this point, the DM will slide these to you. Oh, what? Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Go ahead. Can we... Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I've done my prep, guys. So I would like to have all... So if you're looking... So, sorry, I'm just going to explain sure, sure. how this is going to work. So you have... So they all start as village squad. Okay. Village people? They're basically village people. <laughs> a ragtag. Yeah, ragtag bunch. Uh, <laughs> it is like like a uh, guy in leather, a yeah. guy who's like Indian, a guy <laughs> who's... Guy is no, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, it'll take you three days to train them to whatever squad you want them to be. And Ubin would like to let you know that there are two ballistas that could be repaired over the week as well. I will go for that cast mending later. Oh, cool. that's, that's going to take a while. Okay. But so, seven days. What do you want to do in these days? Okay, um, there are 50 of them, right? Training montage. <coughs> I would like to train <coughs> four of them to be improved uh, ballistas. Okay, so how it works is each of you are going to hold, are going to be in charge of a single squad. Sure. So that's about seven people, I'd say. I assume Archer Squad will be these two. It's up to you what you want to train them to be. Okay. No, as in like just just in terms of training that we have the capability to train people. Like the individual player. So each of each of your heroes mm -hmm. is going to take a squad. You're going to lead these the squad to mm -hmm. okay. for better or for worse. <laughs> I will probably end up leading a guard squad. Okay. So first, so the first day arrives. What do you want to do? Um, I would like to separate, um, I would like to basically like, basically weed out those who aren't particularly good at their martial abilities, keep them as village squads and have them basically set about starting to dig the trenches. Okay. So as in, okay. So just so you, as in, I'm going to reiterate, you all, you all, for the purposes of making things easier for the DM as well, because mass combat is not a fun game, guys. Well, roll be... everyone individually with advantage. <laughs> also, they're all elves. <laughs> 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 um, but so, the way this is going to work is you can assume we're gonna hand wave the part where like they they all kind of are called on to their own what they're good at in a sense, mm -hmm. and so you are going to train them based on what you're train them. Sure. We'll hand wave like splitting them and everything because that time constraints a bit. <laughs> sure. Uh, should I just do a numbers breakdown for you? So, um, so squad consists of seven people, but okay. they can do other stuff as well within the week. Ah, okay. So it'll take you about three days to train them to uh, upgrade them to a single squad. Okay. But you lock that in in a sense. As in, if they do the three days to train into the other squad, they can't do the other things in the three days. Yes. Ah, but you have four okay. days left, so. I thought we had six you days. Have, sorry, sorry, you have three six days, days. My bad. Six days, so we're three and three, right? Yep. So it would take each of us one whole set of three days to, to train, train one squad. squad. So please tell me who you, what you want right now. Okay. Um, I'll take the archer. Yeah. You take an archer, you take, take an, an archer, archer squad. Yeah. Although the tabaxi fell from the sky, she's surprisingly dexterous. I'm good for archer as well. Okay. So we can train three archery squads. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's 27? Yeah. What do you want to do? Sure. 
I will also take a guard squad. Can I we, train a mage squad? <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. We, have, we have 50 people. Cast spells. Oh. <laughs> I imbue them with my natural magic. No, okay. Um, let's see. No, because they can improvise ballista squad. No, you could probably do the ballista right. squad. Because uh, I, I can get them to do it. I have, I, yeah. You have uh, a high enough intelligence, I assume? Yeah, what, happens, <laughs> what happens to the last guy? Hmm? I'd say about 50-ish. I didn't oh. say it was oh, exactly so it's, 50. You mean so it was so exactly 40, 49? 49. I guess okay. 49, I guess. Because there's okay. seven squads. Yeah. And then in yeah. the meantime, there's one squad that there's isn't being one trained? Squad. Ubin does will opt to train them. If as a will. guard squad, right? As a guard squad, yeah. Are we, how are we, okay, hold on. Now. How are we, are we like having a wall, have people Sorry? on top? Two we need, they, we need they people to dig trenches, well. so trenches two front, dig trenches. Dig. Yes. People well, on top, if they there's seven, the bottom. if there's seven, how Strategy. about, how about Ubin and me train the guard squad? <clears throat> and you oversee the people digging the trenches. Um, that, don't worry oh, about the trenches. That will you be should. Later. Oh, we don't need to worry about the trenches. Don't worry about the trenches. I'll let you do that later. Okay. After you, so just right now, choose who what you're training, okay. and then we'll talk about prep oh, okay. work to, to fortify sure. the town in a minute. Sure. All right. So we will end up with three guard squads, three archer squads, and one improved ballista squad. Okay. So who's Nobody so wants who's squad. who's in charge of which squad? Guard squad, archer squad, guard squad, squad, squad archer, archer squad, improved ballista squad, and archer squad. And we'll be and we'll be a, we'll be a guard, guard squad. squad. Oh, no, okay. Not another improvised, but they can have two ballistas. Is it, is it per is it a squad per ballista? Yes, it's one. Squad. Seven people per ballista. Yeah. Can we get Ubin to, to you yeah, can, yeah. Ubin can train the ballista. Sure. ballista squad then. So the three so here's what the happens. Three, In the three days so these people go through more training than they ever have in their entire life. So what did you, we decide on? Sorry. Um, three three two. And okay. uh no. No. Three, two, 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 three. So we have two guard squads. Three archer squads okay. and two improved two squads. squads. Okay. Okay, so. Zero villager squads. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's that's taking the whole three days, you guys put these people through their paces, help teaching them how not only how to use a blade, how to dodge. How you teach them tactics, you teach them how to fight. What you're saying is essentially we got down to business. Yes. <laughs> to defeat to to business. business. To defeat the, the hordes. The hordes, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, this would be that would be the most appropriate training montage. Okay, that's it? what you're gonna put in there. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing that I wanted to shout out was for the horde. <laughs> Say that. Oh man, don't don't feel it's like for the horde. Sorry, sorry, I don't know where that came from. You can bet before <laughs> we're through, Mr. House. Make a man out of you! Fun fact. <laughs> this is why I hate people always busting out into the like, right yeah. noise. Yeah. 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 We should have seen it. We start singing. We are all just a ring bad and bad against bad. No. 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 Okay, actually, the thing is, in the middle of the night, mm-hmm. when people go to sleep, mm-hmm. I was walking in my sleep. <laughs> okay, Gudong has darkness on himself and he's basically going it's around outside. Here. He's using telekinesis mm-hmm. to basically dig trenches for the part for the town. Wow. Telekinesis and if mm. I need to, I can cast polymorph on some people to use giant apes and just throw stuff as well. Can you do like a, can you do like a giant badger? Sure. If you want, yeah. Because then they can dig tunnels, but like just half a tunnel. Like so a Actually, no, this one will be like I, I'd like to think that you're planning all this, and then like we just come up to you and like, you know, if you're gonna turn people into giant apes, why don't you just giant badgers? <laughs> we start badgering you. Um, I'm just like plans. You don't know I'm here. You don't know I'm here. We <laughs> step away. We've seen you do this before. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> is that like, is that like sixty feet, thirty feet? Could you? Sundry. So <laughs> such a sundry. <laughs> it's not like I wanted to help you. I don't think. Good on. Could you make a athletics check for me with advantage? As a uh, as an ape. As an ape. Sorry. Yes, as an I ape. Can't you, you are an actual ape. <laughs> uh, it's a plus three. <laughs> plus, plus, three. Three. <laughs> plus three as an ape. Oh, sorry, it should be a plus five. Yeah, uh, apes are. They have proficiency in athletics. What's your name, sorry? Gudong. Oh, I thought like maybe you got Kong somewhere in there. Kong. <laughs> Who yeah. don't becomes athletics of all time? Kong. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Sound of such. Okay. Um, that's a 24. Damn. Okay. Uh, I can get uh, guidance as well on myself if I want. 
All, all from this But you don't know uh, you're It's not like I, I need a guidance I know what you're doing As soon as he feels <laughs> speaking I see like, everything no. <laughs> The PP of 26 uh, <laughs> I see everything Every cut Every Oh Oh wow uh, Wow we Oh my god so, Wow we John Wow we Sorry oh, What the I fuck the <laughs> Are we fighting the crowd he just spoke to? Did they not like okay, his speech? Basically. By the way, by the way, can I, I just say? To you, but can I just say? Yeah. I love that it literally says Shan and Mu. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I am. Can you flip it the other way around? Is that okay? No, we're good. Um, so, by the way, so as you can see on the map, <clears throat> um, we're using the hex squares, not the not the square. Hex, we're using the hexes, not the squares. Hex squares. What I'm saying. Okay. So there are hexes on the thing. It's a might be a bit hard to see. But it's the blue ones, right? Yeah, the blue ones. Okay. But anyway, so the, the Chinese is pictorial in nature, which is great. So you immediately know what it is when you look at it. So yep, yep. Both of us are like, oh, pff, uh, totally, the, man. Right? Those the are the mountains. Those yeah. are the yeah. Like, so the ones it's like yeah. 3D. on the right side yeah. are mountains because they look kind of like mountains, and the ones <laughs> the trees look like, look like stars. trees. Those, those are the stars in the sky, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, so and so, you, are you talking about my hometown? Yeah. <laughs> he was talking shit. There's a town in the middle. That's what you're protecting. <laughs> what? It's a target yeah. board. Uh, can someone make a pres- yes. survival check to scout? Um, I, have yes. benef- I have benefit. I have. As the three days pass. Yes, expertise. Send somebody uh, who's not me should do it. I have a pass then. Let me do it. <laughs> you do it. Ooh. I mean, I'll just see it just because. Oh, okay. Can you um, help me with it. Twenty. Mm. It's not like I wanted to help you, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, twenty. So. 25. 25, wow. good to know. Thank you. 25. And who else is doing the survival check? I didn't <laughs> do very well, so I don't Only see you. Did anyone do that? Um, I'd say you, have, you need proficiency on the at no, least. No, no. Oh, you're a ranger. Yep. Do you, are you rolling for it? Or we just rolled 2025. 20, 2025, 20, oh, okay. okay. You, do you have proficiency in survival? I have expertise in it. Okay, that's right. Expertise. Well. <laughs> 20, good to know. Before I get to that though. You rolled so low. 9 plus 2. 11, 11 plus 9. Oh, yeah. okay. Before I get to that though. You said you dig duck trenches, oh, so right? I, I didn't. You duck trenches, right? Yes. Could you mark on the map where you duck the trench? <coughs> this is the village. Okay, right? that's the like, village. Um, like, like all over. Like, like can I do a moat? <laughs> no, that'll take that'll take you a few I mean, days. So for example, like to from the modify moat. a single hex is a day. It's I'd say half a day. So two hexes in a day. Two hexes in a day. Yes. So we've been doing this for three days. So he can do six. He can do six hexes if you want. Technicis. Okay. Um. Let's see. Though whether you. Okay. Question. Yes. Can I? This is a river, right? Yep. Can I get the river? But the things run fire. Yes. So we don't. Oh, you don't want the water to flow through trenches. Okay. I leave that to you. I mean, you could try to it around the town. Would um. I have free time apart from training my archery squad? No. Okay. Should I get? Technically, you would. Uh, the water. Yeah. He's taking. Technically, you would have exhaustion because of that. Um, I'll, I'll do like alternate days if I want to. Oh no, actually I can do three Unless... days. Because yeah, six days, days, we only have three days. And three I'm days. mostly doing it with my spells and I'll, I can just pass that one. Fair enough. That yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Because I'm, I'm not digging it myself. I'm just going... Sure. Yeah. I assume you well, take a bit... purple tunnel. Yes. <laughs> I'm all the clicking. <laughs> I'm an old man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Well, sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll allow it. So mark six. That would be not six because you're doing it night only. I assume you're only doing one so per three. one. Ah, so, so, three. so that I can like keep no key. Yep. So <laughs> nobody three notices. Hexes. Mark three. Okay. What? What? Okay. Hexes. I, I need what? <laughs> what? What? What do you think? You should I block off the water? I have a strong suspicion that they will probably be coming from. The mountains in the woods. Yeah, the history and all. Yeah, yeah. 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 does we know where they're coming from? Do you know that Nian dwells in the mountains? If enemy expect you to be like yeah, mountain, then you I should mean, act I like a person. So I mean, I have researchers, so I would have uh, heard of it. Cross talk. But mine yeah. is important one. I would know because I have researcher as a feature. Wait, it's fiction yeah. that way. So what I'm saying is, you know that Nian okay. is in the mountains. Okay, oh, shoot. so I will is not a teleport marker. No. Oh, that's not. Oh, it's a survival marker. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a survival marker. Oh. Yeah. It's just a you really good. Can also draw. Use, wait, 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 so double use, check. Use, double use check. Double check. Whiteboard marker. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll use this because yeah. that one looks like really difficult to get. We can sure. like do the little yeah. trick and like rub it. So these three lines here. Yeah? Uh, 
the it's the hexes, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. The three hexes, these go for it. So these are trench T mm -hmm. T mm -hmm. T. Okay, good okay. to know. Trench like holes? Or like Giant how long holes. are they? On oh. the fourth could, could we day. do what he said? Like dig a trench, mm -hmm. fill it with pitch and then put Burn a trench spiky wood. sticks. Yeah. I can animate sticks to just stab into it. So, we'll get to that. On the fourth day, as the troops are taking their time to... They know what you've taught them now. Yes, they're effectively upgraded squads. But they're going to take a day to rest because holy shit do you put, through, sure. put in through your paces. Day four is resting. Mm -hmm. But for the rest of you, I mean, you guys are fully rested. You're fine. The squad. We're fighting. So, no. <laughs> we have no idea. Yeah, okay. Survival check. Just now. 24, 20, 22. Looking into the forest, like taking half a day to scout out the forest, you do find the creatures they're talking about. Like they are sort of scouting a bit, just like trying to case the town, basically. And looking at them, they are they're fairly small, but holy shit, are there a lot of them? What exactly are they? They're like, okay, don't give me grief for this, but the term I have for them is Nianlings. Aww. I want to kill him right now! So cute. What do they look like? My mental image is just Nian Gao, but small ones! Exactly, yeah. Jumping! Like, <laughs> I'm thinking of the Nian cat, but kittens. <laughs> yeah, um, well, well, just like having babies. You know what? They, they don't really look like kittens per se, they look more like Think of a, do you think tiger-sized kind of cats? Ooh, your yeah, size, that's huge. Okay. Tiger-sized cats? Huh? Like Bengal cats? Yeah, like Bengal yeah, cats. Bengal cats. Tiger-sized um, cats. Their fur, you notice their fur is, is tiger-sized. Is well, red. Bengal cats are like this big. Right. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking red. about? Bengal no. cats? I no way. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Seriously, some... tigers are not. No, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Bengal cats aren't as big as tigers. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He said they were tiger sized. So, the fur is red with what seems to be greenish, green and white hues to them. And on some of the, what seems to be slightly more older ones, they have a bit of a tinged yellow orange to them. They so, move fast. Do they look like He-Man's cat? Green and yellow? Kind of like big cats? Yeah. It's missing the red fur though. Oh, okay. Pass this to John. <clears throat> what? I know what that is. Oh, it's I... a food dog. Um, you know what, for the purposes of things, I will say it looks like a more malformed version of a food dog. <laughs> sure. Does that make sense? <laughs> like wow. a food cat. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, still sound funnier. Purpose is a group. I made trenches this way. Okay, somebody made <laughs> trenches this way. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know. In the middle of the night, I don't know who it might have been. Somebody just made some trenches there. It's great, it's great. Um, we don't know. We know. <laughs> no, we don't. Um, that, but the thing is, I'm thinking whether we could leave an opening over here, mm -hmm. funnel, funnel them through. I mean, if they could jump over the trenches, it would be dangerous because they'll be surrounding us. Give them an opening here, and they'll come straight into, through that, those hexes, and we can basically barrage them there. Okay. I was actually like, as you were Where talking, the... I had thought, um, can we tell? Um, so that's a forest here, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is a forest. Do we, this is the mountains the over here? Mm -hmm. and we think they're coming from here. Yeah, right? you know that. Is yeah. there any way coming if, from if that? you like felled, say, this row of trees and that row of trees and then set fire to that and that, that would create a funnel? Where they would have to come in because they're either going through like i don't know what's over here i'd say you could if you like want a you, wall? you can if you want to you can bring you can oh, it's just kind of like more asking if that's where they're coming from you, you would need to funnel. bring a squad to help you with that though uh can i say that as since the squad is taking a rest yeah today. and i don't need a rest and i didn't go scouting mm -hmm. can i spend the whole day digging more trenches so here's what you can do with the supplies you can dig a trench mm -hmm. you can build towers if you want or you can scrounge whatever supplies are in town for much whatever healing you would need for the squad, so on and so forth. Um, I just also want to point out that about maybe two to three times a day, mm -hmm. I would leave the town, mm -hmm. dig a tiny little trench of my own, mm -hmm. um, fill it, cover it up, head back to town. What's inside? 
Poop my, my shit. You walked into that one. You walked into that one. That's the plan, guys. Hello, they will like walk into it. It's with flammable. It's very flammable. Debatable. Unlike you, nobody notices when yeah. you. <laughs> no, no, you notice when I'm done because like, I'm running back into town and I like try and do flips off the walls and you know. You feel really like, light. Oh, so right? light. Yeah. Oh, guys. It's, it's I like suggest. I suggest that I dig the trenches and maybe someone else who didn't go scout can. Look yeah, for I'll it. go look for. I'll go. You know, looking for stuff to. For supplies. Eating. Yeah, supplies. Yes. Um, if you're looking for food, we I'll could consider. maybe we could maybe use one more tower since there are just... three archer squads and two archers who could probably take a tower themselves each. Yeah. Uh, Where the ballista? You did mention that there's broken ballistas. Yes. Can I mending them? As you can spend the whole day. I yeah. Because I don't need the rest. Sure. If you are spending the whole day to just repair it, could you make a? Hmm. You know. That's going to be interesting. Let me see now. Mending, huh? Do you have any? I have the mending cantrip. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Mending you want to sell? I have teeth tools if that helps. No, it's not. Okay. I want. Uh, um, can you just roll a d twenty for me, just yeah. out of sheer curiosity? Do you want me to give you a telekinesis? Give you telekinesis to in order to like just take it apart and just put you it back. You kind of need to know. Can we just make an intelligence check for me? Intelligence. Get touches up, pants. Yep. Oh my god, no. <laughs> my guidance is higher than my flat roll. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? Uh, 7, 8, 9. Pure, pure intelligence, it's oh, 7. Okay. That's fine. You spend the whole day figuring out, what does this piece do? <laughs> I, back there, I didn't have such complicated things. I could walk around my planet in 98 strides. This takes more than 100. Back and forth, back and forth. I think it fits. I asked the air. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, she does manage to fashion some sort of improvised ballista. Can I that dig the trench? Day. What? Can I start digging trenches? Um, you're going to do it by yourself? Okay, do you, yes. do you want me to cast a spell For on you, me? that would be only a single trench. That's fine. Okay, yeah. do, you, do you want me to cast a spell on you to make it better? For, to make it easier on you? Sure. Be a giant ape. <laughs> <laughs> I you, have con- you concentrate on it. Yeah, you can definitely do one trench now. Sure. If you want to get... So... Wait, it, uh, Giant Ape has what, a plus 5 to athletics? Plus 9. Plus 9 to athletics. Yeah. My non-ape form has a plus 8 to athletics. <laughs> That's only a very minor upgrade. Single roll. Single roll? Mm-hmm. I'm going to use the Chinese your dice. Go for it. Ooh. What's that? It's a 15 plus... 8. 8 at the minimum? 9 if I'm an ape? Yeah, that's you managed to do it in half a day, I'd say. Ooh, can I do another one? Yeah, go for it. Indeed. Six plus eight. Fourteen. Fifteen if you're an eight. Fifteen if I'm an eight. Mm, I'd assume it's fourteen, but... Fourteen, um, sure. You managed to... The second one, you managed to dig, but you take one point of exhaustion. I will take that. Go mark it where you need it. Oh, if we're building okay. like trenches, I can also. Okay, so that's like your that's your that's you whatever you, that's your turn on the fourth day. Your mm-hmm. your turn is done. Oh, I Who else wants to try stuff. something? So I've got proficiency in medicine. Can <clears throat> I okay. like, scrounge for medical supplies? Roll for it. What am I doing? So roll. So make a medicine check. You were scouting, I believe. Wait, wait. Can I get guidance? No, she was, oh, she was mending. She's mending. No, she's mending. She's oh, mending. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Um, that that is get? still a... Actually, that's a 22. Okay. Damn. That changes Jesus, things a bit. Um, Chinese New Year's Dice is all right. <laughs> you managed yeah. to scrounge up two... So- enough for two squads. Okay. So, what happens is... It's... You managed to scrounge up stockpile backup supplies. Mm-hmm. Please do write this down. This can not only resupply them, there's also a bit of healing in it. So the squad can regain 8d10 plus 5 HP if Ooh. needed. But that will, we'll get to combat 8D10 later. 8d10 plus 5 HP. Yeah. You guys have quite a bit of HP. Like, I'm doing yeah. group HP, that's why. So, t- twice. Twice. Okay. You can sign that later. 
however you want to which squad, but we will get to that. Okay. That's your um uh I'll Mang Meng Jie. Uh Meng Jie will go and find try to look for um supplies. Mm-hmm. Uh if let's say <coughs> the first two or three places he goes he can't find anything. He will try and look for like the local library or Where something. are you go why are you trying to G specifically? Um general supplies, anything that will help the Archer Squad. From? Where are you um, looking from? Like Forest? Houses. Houses. Uh, houses. I'd say hmm. Make an investigation check. Man. The skill checks, yo. I love skill checks. <laughs> Seven. That doesn't do anything. Uh, you find Ten about half, a, half some... <laughs> you find a quarter of what <laughs> Lao Zi found. Which effectively does only 4d10. Okay, find a 4d10. It does decent, but okay. it's not as much as you hoped for, yeah. I'd say. Um, being a little bit disheartened, but you know, happy with that. I try to find the uh, nearest library. To look, there's not much of a library here. It's um, a small village. Uh, if it's not like a library of where they keep their records, mm, they don't no, they don't have one of those. Yeah, uh, I guess. I'd I'll, say that's, that's I'll, I'll enter another house and try and find something. Just one more house. You yeah. can't because she because Lousy is already. Oh, okay. She's doing everything, everything else. <laughs> and and, 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 and if I if I meet Lousy around, mm-hmm. I'll. I'll meet up Lozzy and I'll just tell uh tell Lozzy, um, I found this. I hope I hope this helps. Okay. Um yeah. But and um, I'll find like arrows and things that can flash an arrow shit with You spend the rest of the day yeah. finding arrows and yes, creating arrows yes. for your squad. Yeah. Did you take down the that's how much forty ten? Forty ten. Okay, that's your day. Um have okay. you done anything? I no. So what uh, okay. what do you want to do on the fourth day? As <coughs> a squad is taking spray. Right? Okay, the ballista squad, right? Yep. Um, where would the ballistas be yeah. on top you of the watchtower? Can't do it, but it will. Co- it will take your squad half a day to move it. I telekinesis. Huh? I cast telekinesis to lift the. How heavy is it? Telekinesis can lift. Like a thousand pounds. Damn. Damn. Yep. You can move one. I mean that's um. Because like it's not that. Like, like if you, you can move, you can move both of them on the, in a day if you want to. But that would be all you could do. Basically. Yes, yeah. Yeah. it's up to you. Um, where well, are they? Where are they now? Before I did their. Oh no, they're still stored. They're oh, fixed. Still oh, still stored. Okay. Okay, you still okay. have to position them. Oh, they're both fixed already. They're both fixed already. Uh, no, one of them is fixed actually. It's not. It's yeah. fixed. Uh-huh. One of them is fixed. One of them is fixed. So I need to fix the other one first. Yes. Well, the thing is, we still have two more days after this, yeah. and we don't need to train anyone. Yeah. So yeah. we have squads that we can also use to do other things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you um, will spend the day doing it, so on and so forth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you're guiding a squad, but yeah, what do you want to do? Okay. Um, <coughs> I check. You uh, you actually want that fire thing to funnel through the thing? Well, this okay. is what, if, if we know for sure where they're coming from, okay. then maybe, but if we don't, I then... Don't speak yeah. when I'm doing okay. That. Also, <coughs> don't forget the ballistas have a guaranteed, uh, they have a range of 120 feet, which is 24 hexes. I don't even think it's supposed to work this way. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the attack. And this, also, yeah. also, we don't want to put it, if, if the range is that much, I don't think we want it to be that close to the action okay. that it's going to be behind. Um, yeah. Let me translate the things because I realize the wording might be a bit iffy. So 120, right, is approximately, do you right how many hexes is that? Yeah, you're all 24 hexes. There we go. Yeah, which is pretty bizarre. Yeah, yeah. Far. which is fine. Which is why I was like, "What if we kept them away from the?" But it's like yeah. lots of little things. I, I'm not afraid like that it might be a trap. Things. from the DM. The moment you use that, because it's very powerful. Yeah. The moment you use that, it breaks. Yeah, so that is something tells me that, that we is, use it to just stuff right there. Oh no, nothing no? done. Oh, you just guarantee. It just says oh, I don't think it's supposed okay, to. Okay, that this. one. Uh, I it's supposed that the stipulation that there is a chance it can break. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. as I say, it was not. It was not supposed to be a yeah, trap. Sorry. But okay. that's, that's my but that's my fault. The other one is the improvised bolt. <laughs> okay. Has yes. a reach of sixty feet, which is twelve hexes. Already pretty impressive. So as long as it's twelve hexes away, they can keep hitting. That's it's more we can do a more powerful one mm-hmm. at one hundred twenty. So feet. if it's if there is a creature five feet within you, standard rules yes. for shooting apply. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it should basically be the first line of defense. Actually, uh, it will be behind. Two, three, so it will be fight. I mean, yeah, when I say first line of defense, uh, first line of defense is the first thing that I should think. Yes, Welcome to playing this, guys. <laughs> yeah. What if we put them here? You that will take you way too long. 
The river is quite a bit hard How to far traverse. can you move stuff with telekinesis? Oh, mm-hmm. Across the river? 30, 30 feet per feet round. So there's 30 feet per second. But it has to, what's the range? Six seconds. What's the range of that? Huh? What's the range of that? What's your range? My range? I can fly just walk again. underneath it. I, I have a cloud of flying. I can yeah, fly. So, so what's can. your... Hmm. I, and furthermore... In, what, if, what if you just took... Well, the other thing is also when you transport the people to the Yes, yeah. guys. That's uh, a bit much. I think if we just put them behind here, it'll be fine. Just that if we get gangs from behind this problem, we just put it behind. Should be able to shoot. And if it gets slightly higher ground, should be able to... We have two days. Could we build yes. a tower to protect the ballista? Uh, you can build a scouting tower I will, if I will. you want. I can, I can help. Um, uh, building a tower takes a day. Mm-hmm. Or one person. Okay, okay. okay, you know what? I'm going to continue building trenches. But it lets you double, so-called, double your vision. So you can see whatever is coming if you want. Um, do definitely. the current watchtowers not do that? You can only see so far. You can, I'd say you only be able to see like five squares, about three to four, sorry, three to four squ- Hexes? Hexes around you. Okay, you okay. know what? Um, yeah, I'll build the watchtower myself. I'll use my spells. Are you, are you getting your... Are you getting your guards to help you? No. I mean, they are resting. Oh, this, this is on the first, this is on on the first day. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm, get, I'm using my spells to do this, so I can actually yeah. do it several times. I can even do it. So you're going to spend the whole day trying to do it? Building a watchtower. Telekinesis. Where service. are you trying to build it specifically? Okay, where do you want this dance to be? Like, can it be on the building? No, it has to be a bit further because there are already towers. There are already four towers there. So where are the four towers currently? Um, if you could just mark the four. Basically, there are six houses, right? Yes. yes. One in each corner. This one? No, so um, as in just mark the houses. Oh, the houses. Yeah, so one, one two, three, four? Yeah. Okay, I'll just put a W yeah. underneath. I'll just put a blue dot in them. Yeah, I was thinking oh. that as well, but th- th- don't worry about it. <laughs> no, worry. <laughs> dot. Sure, worry about dot. it if you yeah. make so much. Dot. dot. Okay. So those are our watch. If it matters to you, worry about it. Sure. Yes. All right, so I am going to build another one behind. You're going to build one more behind? That's mm-hmm. not going to extend your range. It's only if you put it forward. What if you put one in front of the trenches? And then get broken down. That's by basically, the watchtower. Sacrifice me. They, get, they have four hexes of vision. Or let's, what put, if, let's put one right in the middle of the forest. What if, actually, no. What if you put it between the end of the trench and the river? This one, right? Yes. You want to? Would we know if they're um, uh, I was thinking water... Of Will water come in if I build a trench? No, it won't. No. I can oh, just okay. build a trench and just block it off. Yeah, that's fine. Make them force force them to come here. And then I could build a... It's up to you what you want to build. And we can... So, okay. Trench here. And then trench further here. Mm, that, that's my plan. Yeah. Do you then do you can do it south of the... It, like, just below. So we have three watchtowers in a row. Okay, so I'm just going to be doing a trench here. Okay, so you spend the day... Building trenches. Oh, you're spending the day building trenches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Sure. So you spend the day moving the earth with whatever spells. Are I you have. telekinesis and animate objects? I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. So, Can yeah. I? Um, what do you want to do on the on the rest day? So I'm gonna. <clears throat> you said, um, fifty. Hmm? You said fifty-ish, but I'm gonna assume fifty and take that my squad had one extra guy. Sure. So my eighth guy. Sure. Um, he's my focus. Okay. So I want to go to the middle of the forest, mm-hmm. right? Have him climb the highest tree right in the middle of the forest. Uh huh. So he's almost in the crow's nest. And um, I'm gonna give him pitch and a torch and mm-hmm. just like let for, so he can let us know. He's gonna hide in the very top and let us know if they start advancing halfway or mm-hmm. if there's any sort of general direction or anything. Can like you that. make a? <laughs> Survival check. Yes. With disadvantage. Because you're trying to sure. tell someone how to do something. Climb up a tree, wave the thing when you see people, dummy. And... He's not a tabaxi. Be stealth, to my dude. Ooh, actually, wait, so what's this for? Disadvantage, survival. It's pretty good. What's, what's that? That's, uh... 12. <laughs> it's above 10. It's above 10. It's pretty good, right? Sure. 6 plus 8? No, that's 14. He seems to understand what you're 14, saying. 14, right? 14, 14. He seems to understand. See something, light a fire. Sure. By the way, did we mention something about gongs? Yes. Yes, oh, gongs yeah. he farts high. <laughs> Again, no. to everyone. I regret everything. Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> I was invited here. 
<laughs> the fourth day passes you as they rest. Yeah. So the fifth day, the dawn, the dawn of the fifth day. Do you want goals? Your squads are in formation. I know. God, this little kid, man. This boy has come back on I'm sneaking around. I'm like stepping on branches as I Look. come back. That's all it is. Sure. That's a 14 so like for you. you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So the dawn of the fifth day approaches and the squads assemble outside into the town center ready for your orders. What do you want to do? Okay, uh, I, do would like, I would like I would like to take my squads to keep building trenches. Come again? I would like to take my squad to continue my trench building. Oh, so you're going to take a squad now? Yeah, but yes. Can you roll? Me and a squad are going to... Okay, can you roll... Um, guys, yeah. sorry. sorry. Can you roll 2d4 for me? 2d4. That's okay. a 4. Oh, that's good. Four. And a 4! That's you 8. Get to roll, you get to dig 8 trenches. Oh! Whoa! I've okay, that's so much better. Damn. Damn! Damn! So, please mark the 8 trenches. I think, like, on his thinking is so good. Maybe if, like, we so don't all die, we should make him, like, king or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's, like, super smart and clever. So, with your natural leadership and. Natural really? leadership. Oh, your natural oh, leadership oh, 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 and explanation. You, oh, okay. you easily right. convey the, the meaning and purpose. manage to oh, muster your troops to. Should I just keep going on this? Dude, I really impressive I think trenches. you have one on each side of the front to create a funnel. So one on top, uh, right, right, uh, yeah, one there and one on the other side. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five? Uh, no, 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 like on the... Where the tree is? Kind of on the other Next side. Next game, I get laser pointers for the players. Yeah. Down and across. Yeah, kind of like there. Here. Yeah. Just to like really get them, if they are coming from that direction, funnel them in a little bit. Sure. Because now you're attacking from a side one, versus two, just from three, one front. Four, five. I said three more. I'm trying to make this area completely un inaccessible. <laughs> one right in the middle of the forest. Two. <laughs> Let's make it inaccessible. One more, right? There's one more here? Yeah, sure. Why should I... Dig a no, giant trench right if there's shit in. <laughs> that's his shitting trench. Yeah, that's the shit trench. <laughs> no. Okay. <coughs> what do you think we're using for pitch? Yeah. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Helping Ew, guys. Helping. Guys. Cat litter. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm rubbing it on the sharp sticks. I don't need doing to. It, uh, you know? Sharp sticks? Yeah, well, if, you're, if he's doing sharp sticks. Sure. Um, that's your day, though. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm taking I'm my Archer squad mm -hmm. and um, acquainting them. Take about a couple hours to acquaint them with the uh, watchtowers. And uh, there's, okay, the four watchtowers. Yeah. Sure. And uh, build the fifth one. Build the fifth one. Yes. Okay. It's most. It's a scout tower, mind you. It's not watch. You can't uh, exactly yeah, I mean, I mean, attack so from it. But yeah. you get what I mean. So, so why are you why are you building it? Uh, uh, a. Where are you building? It? B. I'm not sure if you have enough lumber for it. Can we cut down the trees? Yeah. To yeah get more lumber. It's up to you. What do you want to do? You can. Uh, actually, I want. I will go in and I'll. Instigate if I'll cut this this okay uh, this one here. You're te you're so you're getting your whole squad. Yeah, to we'll just cut, cut like a couple of trees down. Can you roll one d four for me? One d four. Does take your whole day though. One. Now uh, you cut off one tree. Yeah. That's a one one portion. Yeah, just that and. That's your day yeah, though. Yeah, it's fine because that funnels them in. You. So great. Even though you have a natural way with understanding of the forest and. It's not as easy telling others what to do, and you spend the day cutting what you can with, and at the same time trying to hide from wherever is coming. Archers not are not really good with strength. The so stealth itself sense. kind of hinders you a bit. Yeah. The need for stealth, but yeah, you I'd say you have enough to build a watchtower at this point. Lousy. Yeah. Mm. Lousy. Lousy. Now see. So I'm not very good at you know the physical kind of things. Can sure. I spend my day make like you have a squad? Yeah, really training that squad. You've already trained them. Squad go. Train them more. No. Uh, uh, super SWAT team. I'm a monk. Like 
you know, can I not teach them like meditation stuff and give them? I, don't know. I, I really would love to see like one person train one like in meditation and see how that translates to MMA in the MMA match. It's like you know, like put them through their paces and stuff and it, smack them. That's what I assume right. you did in three days. You already did you that. Beat people up for three days. Bye. Okay, fine. We've already beaten a lot yeah, of them in three days. Fine. I will. Do we need another ballista? Yes. Okay. Do you? Or do we need more wood? Oh. Do you? I mean, oh, I, I haven't built my tower, so you can take the wood. Build more towers. Sure, I'll. You need additional pylons. pylons. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure, my intelligence is not speed, too yes. bad. I will, I will <clears throat> help fix the ballistas and help fortify the town. So you're fixing a ballista? Yeah. Okay. Crafty stuff. Hmm. Make a. Hmm. I want to say mending check, but it's not that. Uh, oh. Tinkerer's yeah. tools. No, I wish proficiency. Tinkerers. Oh. Straight up intelligence. How about the. Straight up intelligence check. Okay. The thing is, do you want me to do it? Because my ballista squad is supposed to be. Trained in ballista. How, would, how did they train the ballista when there was no It's ballista? more like acquainting them with how to use a ballista in oh. so would he would he have advantage yeah. i'll get my ballista it? squad to actually fix the ballista oh that that would grab me advantage yes yeah yeah uh, okay. you know what so i'll, I'll find out no. cut down I'll, I'll bring them to like Roll d4 trees. d4 yep yeah that actually makes more sense do the trenches count as difficult terrain or do they count as more they count as slightly difficult terrain four wow oh. you're doing a lot better than i choose the four hexes that you want to um, um, do you guys have the Make a path. He's she's make destroying path, the yeah. forest. Oh no! Out. They're cutting out trees. Uh, Deforestation. So we're trying to funnel them in here, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're coming from the mountains. Yeah, she's coming. Yeah, she's coming. Yeah, just take her. Oh dear. Oh, dear. Oh, this is how it starts. Hey, hello. My guy was like hiding in the tree. <laughs> now he's like falling <laughs> down. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna sit here and then. Oh, pitch, 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 pitch fire. Like, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, k-dunk. Hey, you clear the, the path. Hey, guys, guys, guys. the path, and in the middle of the path, there's just one tree. Yeah. <laughs> with a guy in it. With the with a guy in there, he's going, like, I'm not suspicious at all. Hiding, <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Can I clear that and leave one tree? <laughs> sure. <laughs> one tree. Just like one dot. One dot. It's a tiny little bow. Oh my god. Soup. Poor guy. Sure. Uh, so that was one. Um, <laughs> it's clear okay. around this one. one. Okay. Um, I will miss you, uh, Jimmy Henlix. <laughs> oh, I'm on the watch tower. <laughs> That's he was weird. a really good musician. Well, well, yeah, no, like, you would take the wire out and, like, strum and stuff. Oh, I'm man. like, shut up, you're supposed to be, like, s- silent and sneaky. He's like, the one hero of 14. The one hero of 14. Yeah. This one and this one? Yeah. So these two? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Yeah. There's still so both fill those. Why don't we fill those areas with more trenches? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's well, that's that's what you what you don't have like, uh, Just get rid of on. them. There's no funnel anymore. All my men are terrified of me because every time they talk back to me, I whisk them. <laughs> How terrifying. It's, just, it's like a tiny terror. Do not talk back. Okay, my familiar is going to um on one piece of ration and fly over to this little guy mm-hmm. on a little tree mm-hmm. and make sure that he's well hydrated and fed. <laughs> is, is, oh. wait, is your familiar going to feed him like a mama bird feeds the baby bird? I do not know because I'm not the two to have senses. <laughs> wait, wait, is your familiar an owl again? <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. I must be definitely <laughs> afraid of owls. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so on that day, because I remember on the very first day when we were talking to Wu Bin, mm-hmm. mentioned gongs. Mm-hmm. Can I use my day to look for things, metal oh. objects that makes noise? With sure, my make an investigation check. Not perception. <laughs> I'll allow perception. <laughs> sure. If you want, I can help you. Actually, one of my legs is very good at this. Yeah, they are just here. It's no for finding gongs. This is my gong C knee. Like I can, I can, yeah, I'm just saying, like it's it's what I use to find gongs. Right, this one, just here, the left one. That's the right one. Not the, the left one. Left one. Yes, no way. Yeah, don't do it. Take a filthy D six. <laughs> Oh my god. Take your 
God damn these oh, six. Oh my God, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I died. I died. I died. I died. <laughs> Come see me. Oh, my God. Hello. Hello. Why are you planning on seeing I, that? I wasn't playing it at all because I don't actually know what any of these words mean <laughs> in Chinese. So I don't know what they sound like in English. Oh, oh, I just happened to be looking for God. Exactly. Exactly. So just somehow. <laughs> I remember it's like the backseat word, serendipity. It's like right. yeah. I didn't plan for that, but somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh okay, my God. Six. Um, okay. I have a 23 on gong seeking. <laughs> <laughs> you, hmm, this will be interesting. I'd say you find enough to attach a gong to each squad if need be. Mm-hmm. And they can, as an action, ring the gong. I would give. But that's your that's your whole day. Yeah. Should I give the one who could move objects a gong? Yeah. Because then so <laughs> here is a gong. <laughs> kill me now! No, kill me you now! You're waiting for that. You're just I'm waiting for that. that. <laughs> Fair enough. Take me out of this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Rock's fall. Lousy <laughs> dice. Well, I guess I can go home now. Yeah, no, I also got lousy dice, huh? Can't <laughs> 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 I can't help gong, it. I can't gong, help it. The <laughs> shit I have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're lovely people. Um, <laughs> you force him to say that. Yeah, at gunpoint. Um, so I have no idea anymore. Good, no, okay. okay. <laughs> um, Can the but, the but it's the squad. I'll tell the ballista the squad to fix so, the gong. Actually, the because ballista. they are your squad, I'd say you don't need to roll. They can fix it. And fix you can spend the day ballista. shifting, positioning the ballistas however you want it. Okay, um, I mean, I'll get them to put it, put the ballista back here, and, and so they can go So just put right down, just draw on. Just write your feet. Just draw an arrow. This, yeah. To signify it. Uh, blue, blue one, blue. Okay. Yeah, just to draw an arrow to signify where it is. Okay, so, um, Oh my, is it getting warm in here? <laughs> yeah, it's all like... Just one? One more? Just oh, two. putting both. Yep. Oh, Over here? Yeah, go for it. Yes. Yeah. 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 What's its vision? Five? Uh, it's 12 hexes. 12 hexes. Yeah. They can shoot 12 hexes. Yeah. You said vision is limited to four. what they can see. Yes. Oh, so they can't actually shoot 12 hexes? No, yeah. as in it is, the scouts can tell them, like even the watchtowers. Oh, so ah. they relay information? Yes. Ah. Okay. So the guy in the tree can relay information to them? Uh, yeah, unless he gets cut down. <laughs> Told you it's like it's those bad ideas to have you. like scouts okay. right. Um is that my day yes. telling them to do it? Yes, pretty much. Alright. Tiger. What do you wanna do? Well, considering um trenches are difficult terrain, I was gonna say could we could I difficult terrain the shore? The um, shore the blue trench all the way up to I'm the I am assuming that wherever you put the T's are considered difficult yeah. terrain. Um Three. Right now, there's no way they can get here, so... Oh, Which also, be. 15 feet within me is also technically difficult terrain if they're not an ally. Let us not consider, like, micro and macro at the same sure. time. It's really <laughs> too much have, bookkeeping. Like, uh, because what I'll be doing would be basically hasting <laughs> my people. Yeah. I'll be hasting everyone so you see, like, my whole squad running around super fast. <laughs> so, uh, what do you want to do, Tiger, for the fourth day? Oh, sorry, fifth day now, yeah. Um... Are we for like hundred percent sure coming from like one direction? You can de- you can double check if you want. Oh yeah, my okay, first hit, yeah. Make a survival check. Um, I want to say proportion or survival checks is. Well, survival perception, depending what you want to do. No, I mean like, do I get advantage on that? Ooh, that's not bad. Twenty three. Twenty three. You're spending the whole day, I assume. Like yeah. That, okay. So what my original idea was, I wanted to walk out to where the tree was and mm-hmm. then turn around and look at our fortifications um, and be able to hide anything that was obvious or like dig, like maybe put branches in front of traps or something. Like I just wanted to have a look and oh, make things less obvious. Well, that was my biggest looking concern. Looking at it, the trenches do look like a bit of an eyesore. Okay. In addition to that, tracking the creatures that are moving about in the forest. You find the source of them coming from this massive cavern in the mountains, somewhere in between two mountains and a valley. Well, actually, yeah, that's a bit of a... Sorry. Um, In between two mountains is a valley. My bad. Sure. (laughs) It's my bad, sorry. Coming from a massive cavern in the valley. (laughs) 
apologies. The DM didn't think of these descriptions enough, but the valley that you find them sprouting from, the air is somewhat cold. And oh, seems, I like it here. It's not bad. Somewhat, right? There seems to be a somewhat malefic presence as you see the vegetation around here seem to be a lot more treacherous. Can I tell if it's... Like, like tainted plants or just more evil plants? I was waiting for the word. Or like, like there's I mean, some, there's there's like, I know nature. If they're just evil plants, they're just evil plants. You have some sort of external presence affecting it. No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna yeah spend my day just double checking around the the first half and second half, okay. and making sure that. Nothing super obvious. Okay. Obvious is like okay, but not like super obvious. Like we're gonna run around that hole in the ground. Like uh, if they if they cut down trees and stuff like that, the trees that they cut down, mm -hmm. all the branches from those trees. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have my ranger squad take all the branches from the trees, like axe them off, so they've got like a fan and like put a fan up in front of trenches and things like that. I'm gonna primitive technology the shit out of this, <laughs> and I'm gonna hide everything. As okay. well as I, as well as um, I can. That will take you the next day, though. Yep. That's yeah. anyway. That's um, not druid. <clears throat> That's I the have, fifth day. I have some druid. Craft. That's the fifth day. So, the dawn. But I can't druid. The eve of the battle arrives, mm -hmm. and you've made what whatever day? preparations you have. What do you want to do on the last day? Yes. One day more. Well, you want to do something, another right, Greg? Day, just yeah. Hide so, stuff. So okay, make a. This is like. Hmm. Um, I want it to have been done the night the, the last night that we had oh so like um, yeah I didn't realize okay. we were like so close okay. um, I will allow it so I can just do like final checks in the make morning make a if that makes single sense. survival check like ooh uh, 24 okay you do your best to Using the branches and whatever resources you can find, yeah. you try your best to sure, cover fine. the trenches we'll and make them try. seem like kind of pit traps, <clears throat> and try to hide it all together. It takes your whole squad a full day to cover. I'd say the front half of the trenches facing sure. the forest. You do nothing about the trenches behind. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> the rest of you, what do you do in the last day? Uh. Can I do something during the daytime and something else during the evening? Yep, you can most certainly can. Oh, okay, then I spend the entire evening licking my asshole. <laughs> now that I've checked for it, I've made sure I'm like, job done. I'm gonna go and make sure my butthole's nice and clean for the war or whatever's coming. Right yeah. in a place where everybody can see. <laughs> oh, like on a table. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't need to know that, but sure. It's canon, John. Uh, for the for the daytime, uh -huh. I'm planning to go and take my squad to go look for whatever reserves they have in the town left of like whatever nice food they have, like any meats that were left, any vegetables, anything, just like preparing for sure. uh, like wine, uh, anything. I think like, Ubin helps you with this. Sure. And you get a whatever supplies have been left. And then I plan to use my second feet. Ooh. Like, because I took two feats when I was Polar Monster. The yes. other one is Inspiring Leader. Expert Ooh. Chef. <laughs> I was going to ask if you were, could do that for the speech. I was like, oh man, he's totally going to have like Inspiring Leader or something. I didn't want to use it for the first speech. I'm going to do it right before the battle. Fuck yeah. Because so you, it, like, it fits one You spend a day with your squad <clears throat> and you and Gubin and his squad mm -hmm. prepping the food. Yes. And preparing a feast for everyone else on the yes. end of the battle. And yeah, what are you doing? Um, kind of take the take my squad on a little tour of what actually has been done, okay. where, where things are, um, mm -hmm. giving them a little um, pep talk on what the assignment is supposed to be, mm -hmm. um, in essence, shoot it, shoot to kill, um, and um, don't, no, basically don't be afraid, um, and letting them sort of sink into their mind what, sink into their minds what they have to do and to concentrate. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, as archers, I kind of teach them the the, um, the creed of the archers. Mm -hmm, sure. You know, um, uh, single ang single shot, single arrow, 
single kill. One shot, one kill. Oh, yeah, one shot, one kill. And, you know, hopefully you get inspired for that. Okay. Yeah. Nelsy, what are you doing to your squad? <laughs> what are you doing to your squad? <laughs> so <laughs> many things! What are you doing? <laughs> what? That's like just inspiring them. Yeah, yeah. it's accurate. Yeah. Okay. This is accurate. Okay, I, I know what I'm going to do in my squad. So, okay. do, you, do you have something planned? Mm, there isn't much left to do, okay. right? I kind of know what I want to do with my squad. <coughs> so, what I want to do is because I know that we still need watchtowers. <laughs> I'm going to get my squad to build two watchtowers. Oh. Do you okay. need help? I could get my squad to help yours. Uh, before we do anything else, can I just say. The moment you said that, I immediately thought of like Lousy saying the words as, she's ho- as he's horse whipping people. He's like. <laughs> Which literally translates to scolding is loving and beating is caring. Yeah, love it. <laughs> to be entirely honest, we've like definitely had our parents say that before. Yep. The language is different, but Scottish parents are very similar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I imagine this is a backpipe or something. I have no idea. What do they be? Wow, with? that's racist. That's <laughs> sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> These what? Spoons. Spoons. Wooden spoons. Oh god, that spoons. Sp- that I've sp- heard. We're using spoons. I've heard. Okay. I beat you with spoons. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's... Scottish the, the, the listeners. Okay. So, um, do we build? Towers? Made no. a. No, I didn't get beaten with spoons, by the way. Uh, so you're you're building <laughs> towers, right? Yeah, I'm getting my guys mm-hmm. built it and then. Uh, and my and this and guys. All right. During this entire time, I'm inspiring them. Not inspiring them, not making them feel better, but giving them more oh, like yeah. reason to fight by casting minor and you're helping their parents. As well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to protect them? Another illusion. Oh. Do you want to protect your parents? Now fight for them. Build this tower. That is so dark. I will allow it. I like um, it. You're helping, right? Yeah. Okay, because your <laughs> squad is helping. He's like super well. efficient guy. Motivation. I, I like will it. roll a d4 for me. Two. You built two towers. Alright. Exactly what we needed. Oh, exactly what we uh, needed. Okay, so that's Could've been worse. Way. <laughs> okay, so that's a. One. Up, take down, W, M. Okay, yeah. So those are <laughs> Ws. I just had W from that side. Guys, this yes. is like clearly M. <laughs> yeah, I just M from here, so yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. You spend the day doing that. Yes, and that's here, what okay. you do as well. Yeah. So that, I mean, this is two things. So, can so correct me if I'm wrong. You're conjuring pictures of the dead parents and you're whipping oh, them. No, no, no. <laughs> they're alive. They're, 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 they're parents. Oh, yeah. They're soon to be dead parents. If we feel. And you're like, do you want to protect them? I'm hammering home the point. <laughs> Old man power. <laughs> While screaming. <laughs> yeah. I want to say something about slave, but I, I, I can't I, right now. I, I, that's, 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 I'm a bit disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> right now. I'm, the DM is somewhat disturbed. This is. Uh, I'm like, finally. Okay, now we get some actual tiger, motivation. And anything. Oh, wait, you already done. Yeah. yeah um, Are we not protecting poor Jimi Hendrix in his tree? Wait, uh, the thing is, wait, my, my squad did the two watch towers. Jimi yeah. Hendrix died yeah. young. Yeah. That's why you were the D4. If it wasn't, it would just be a single, a single tower. Okay. Okay, so... Building is difficult, okay. I have spell. Magic. They do what they can. Okay, Ruyan sees and hears what's happening. Oh, yeah. Has half a mind to cast protection on good and evil, but I realize that my resources are limited. First, I would send my familiar on with the okay. Om Nom Nom and okay. some, maybe like a little... Um, a little gong. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> gong yeah, no. Guys, do you guys seriously need to stop? I didn't do that. That wasn't was me this sorry. time. Yeah. Fucking yeah. children every <laughs> time. Like this little Can kid. Can you put the gongs away like for the kids? Child or the gong. For the kids. It's like, actually, who is like minding this child? <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually a child holding it. It's literally like you see a child that like... <laughs> <laughs> and you can't tell like he just ran into it. He's like, why are there still children? I thought we evacuated everyone. Okay, so a uh, pack of yeah, ration, as to, well to as a pack of like maybe like tar or something for him to disguise himself because him on a single okay. tree it's a bit. Can obvious. you help him make a survival check to okay. try to disguise him? Survival. Because you're helping. I'm just gonna him. like deliver the pack. To my you're helping own. him using the familiar, I assume. Oh, okay, so a uh, flat roll with guidance. Yep. Okay. Well, you can guidance yourself if you need it. Yep. Okay, fifteen. Nice. Twenty-five. Good to know. 
So that's my familiar. Jimi Hendrix is now the most well defended villain. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can touch him. And I'm not sure whether everyone, because everyone has realized that uh, so independently, fami- my, yeah. so you're familiar what it does. It's an owl, right? Mm, it's an owl. It starts taking twigs and almost in the fashion, like fashioning mm-hmm. a nest. And the fashion is like a small nest around Jimi <laughs> Hendrix. Terrible. And you, and with whatever else it exposed, you cover it with cloth, like dark green cloth and everything, and leaves. <laughs> It's basically you know the you, you know the sniper yes. kind of what's yes. 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 the yes. 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 It's basically yes. Gilly's. Yes. Yes. I'm thinking Pita. <laughs> oh. I like how it's like right I imagine Peter. a small owl yeah, just like scared. kind of landing on his shoulder and just like using his beak to like shove a piece of like leaf into his yeah. head yes. and doing that like fifty million times. It's not, it takes a whole day. Like, good to know. <laughs> and Jimi Hendrix is just like sat there <laughs> with his torch. He doesn't have a torch. He's just like still holding a torch. He, has, he actually has his lyre, yeah. but it's there are no strings on it. So uh, he's just like air guitaring. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Like he has his actual lyre, but there are no strings. He's just like fretboarding. He's <laughs> <like>, practicing. <laughs> good to know. Anyway, evening approaches. Still practicing. <laughs> the uh, I assume yeah, that. Do I have my own action? I'll allow it. What do you okay, want to do? I just want to scuttle around because I realize that everyone has been independently controlling and commanding their own squad, but we haven't really worked with each other. So That's I'm going to point. say, like, okay, you are awake at this time, you rest at this time, so we have a watch and everything. Basically, Sun Tzu Bing Fa. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Sun Tzu Bing Fa. Art of War. Art of War. Sun Tzu is Art of War. Art of War. Yeah. Art of war. So I'm going to work together with Rupin and, and perhaps yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you as well. Okay, and, so yeah. evening. So evening arrives. Wait, wait, hold on. So you just said Art of War. Mm-hmm. As so in like, like she... you did everything in the Art of War just then? <laughs> no, 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 no. When? As in like it's, it's, it's a concept from Art of War okay. that she's basically talking Which about. Which is... Which is the you know the the staggered the staggered watches and everything. That comes okay, from Art okay, of War. Cool, yeah, cool, like cool. sniping, sniping gotcha, points, gotcha, gotcha. Right, cool. especially yeah. the archery. Yeah. So it's basically yeah. communication yeah. among the army. Yeah. Yeah. So, evening sets. Mm-hmm. The sun begins to set, and at the center of the, t- of the village is a large table with whatever we can gather, like home cooked food that we that the that the villagers help to make, like me and Wu Bing's um, troops mm-hmm. help to make this meal, and we got whatever wine and spirits that we had left in town and we have everything set and we set the table for all the squads and all the adventurers okay. and as we sit down i pour um wine for everyone i pour <clears throat> wine personally for wow. everyone okay and then i stand at the front with a cup of wine and i say and as you stand it will be stands with you i say tonight may be our last night he raises his cup but, hey, but, are we doing this? <laughs> are we? the fact that I can look out and see so many <laughs> broken branches, <laughs> <laughs> so many children always <laughs> running. Go to bed, fuck, like, it's so late already. Tomorrow is like war and you're running around. You see a cat run by. This cat says this while looking out from licking his asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Go home! (laughs) That's a disturbing thought. I look out and I am strengthened by the sight of so many who would be willing to lay down their lives and fight for others. I start drinking. Even if it's... (laughs) That's right. Even if it's for your own flesh and blood... This selflessness is something this land has been lacking for generations. This war, this strife, must come to an end. And we will start in a small part tomorrow by trying to put an end to the strife that blights this village. And so, we've done what we can to feed you, enjoy the food, enjoy the drink. Everyone gains 15 temporary hit points. Ooh, yeah! Yes. My level plus my charisma modifier, which is 10 plus Does 5. Does that include the, um, the squad? That includes the squad. Yeah. Yep. All our squads gave yes. 15. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wait, number? What is 
this. <laughs> Squad goals. And as you Squad raise goals. your cup, signaling the beginning of the feast, they start eating and making merry, or as, as much as they can before an ensuing almost mm-hmm. suicide of battle. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so I, the, I'm not there. Uh, after this, after he was like, uh, he started doing his thing. Of like I, I took a drink. I left. I'm walking up and down the perimeter. Okay. Just double, just looking at him, thinking and kind of half meditating. Did you yeah. hear the speech though? I did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. still get the 15 hit points. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to shout out, and he's a super good guy, and you should listen to him. But I didn't want to ruin your moment, <laughs> so I left. What did Ubin do for the last three days? Ubin. He's oh wait no 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 the Flash squad team. doesn't the squad doesn't it choose out the six friendly creatures okay, oh. Oh, okay. which can include myself a friendly so, squad yes a yes, squad yeah. so I'd say the six of us yeah. I'd say he'd be helping all of you doing your various stuff oh. actually no it would it would be in my nature to be excluding me the five of you plus whooping uh, whooping okay. will get the sixth one so everyone else get your fifteen As temporary hit points. Don't necessarily need them if you want to take um, them. Where did the you're villagers low go? on HP. No, 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 no. it's it's in oh, character. Okay. Sure. Oh, wait, yeah. They, you get you know. I'd say you would know where it's, a lot further from here. Basically, the idea is to stay as far as the village as possible for now. And the old people, they yeah. were supposed to be. Oh, they're still in the town. Where where? Are they? Well, not not all of them. Like most of them have evacuated per your instructions, but, but mm-hmm. those people. Who I'd say those who stay, I assume we Leong, welcome Leong them. Leong is just there, like. Just still shaking his head. <laughs> There's food provided yeah. for everyone. I bring these old people mm-hmm. and I gather them mm-hmm. and I start ushering them to the side away from the battle. Oh. And basically just talk to them. And I am not as fierce as I am with others. I talk to them in a respectful manner mm-hmm. with as much care for these elder generations I can. Mm-hmm. Telling them to be safe and to leave it to the youngsters for this battle. I step up from the crowd. God damn it, go! <laughs> <laughs> a man with outward courage dares to die. A man with inward courage dares to live. I nod and I walk. Yes, I was one of the old people like from out behind. Every day, how did she keep coming from? What's your stealth modifier, by the way? Stealth is plus five. Oh, it's not too bad. What? Yeah. <laughs> but I have 60 feet of movement speed. I, I fly away on my cloud. <laughs> you have a cloud. I have a flying cloud. Flying cloud. Wait, did you, by yourself? Yeah. Did you wander lonely as a cloud? <laughs> just wondering, just wondering, <laughs> just wondering. Just for canon. Yes. I'm writing it down, wandered lonely. Or are you just... A little black rain cloud. Pay no attention to little me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. To be fair, there's a black cloud. This is. Mm. We gotta move on, or else these uh, puns will start to accumulate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Guys, guys, be serious about this. Oh God, that like. I'm just. Oh. Oh. Two, four, one, boom, puns all day. <laughs> Let's be serious. I'm so happy I'm not drinking right now. He's such nimbus reflexes. Oh, <laughs> love it, love it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm too sober oh, for right this. There. Right there. Oh, I love I'm it. not jumping up with this guy. Can I, can, I can I just suggest that the, uh, the one tree standing by itself in the clearing is a honey tree? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hovering over the honey tree. <laughs> I tie a yellow ribbon around it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the lemon tree? I see. Why are you, uh, none of them bards such for it down? <laughs> you mistaken. Everyone on this table is bards. <laughs> IRL bards. IRL bards. <laughs> we're all bards in real life. Eight charisma. Oh. It's why we're playing other characters in the <laughs> <laughs> This is fantasy, guys. I don't get too far away from character, though. I s- always have a 20 charisma. <laughs> I know. Anyway, you, so Night approaches as you... Finish whatever festivities and try to get whatever rest before the battle begins. Uh, I assume before we go to bed, me and Wu Bing actually lay out a plan of like, because uh, we have four towers where we can actually fire arrows from, right? Uh, six. No, they're not, they're not firing arrows. Four towers. No, because we have three, three. Uh, we have four actual watchtowers, right? Two mm-hmm. watchtowers. Four. Two scout towers, right? Yeah. Two scout towers, four watchtowers. Can we fire arrows from the scout towers? It'd be the same range, but yeah, you could. Oh, yeah, okay. Longbows are 650, so you've, uh, yeah. it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
my thought was, I was basically thinking that uh, the two newly built scout towers, mm -hmm. I can put the two of the mm -hmm. the specialists mm -hmm. at the flanking towers. Yeah. Uh, one archer squad in each of the front towers facing the mountains, and one at the back protecting the ballistas. Yep. Sure, you can do that. Sure. Yeah. I, I'm planning out like basically like where yeah. we want to keep the people. Um, I'm going to have... Um, <clears throat> We have two guard squads, mm -hmm. so they will be right behind the watchtower. Okay. And literally, like the moment that uh, uh, the enemy breaches through the one funnel point we have, mm -hmm. or the moment we see the signal okay. from the ta from the thing, we are going to come out and defend the choke point. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to relax a bit on the coming out and defending and like let them maybe okay push yeah it and then we can sure sure we'll, we'll collapse on them yeah. when once they reach the choke point i sure. wanted if it, if just if it helps i wanted to be on the left see the front the very front blue t, t? Yeah. yeah is there a tower that's no. tower right? no no, 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 no that's trench he said trenches okay i was gonna put you at the w right there the tower. Yes. sure yeah yeah that works and then mm. katrina yeah. at the other w i'll be here so as you plan with ubin in the night trying to lay out what how best to mitigate the amount of people who might be killed he turns to you you think this is gonna work i step up at this point oh god <laughs> i say yes don't worry he does this a lot in the most defeated tone ever <laughs> because i have this. no goal in mind Everything I do succeeds. And I turn and I walk away. I think I mentioned it. I think I mentioned it. Are you like Arakoa and you hung out with one guy called Confucius? No. Or something like you can only repeat like phrases that you Oh, no, no, that's not Arakoa, that's Kenku. Oh, Kenku. Right, right, right. He's not too. Is that your name? Lao Tzu? Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu. Miyamoto Musashi. Oh, Kenku. Well. If we both survive this, let's make sure we celebrate it. Absolutely. Very well. I extend a hand and go, if we survive this, I would be glad to call you brother. He doesn't. If we survive this and you save my father, I would definitely be glad to call you my brother. And you know that clasp? Yeah, the... Yeah. 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 Yes. <gasps> Predator. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Dawn. Okay. <laughs> So Dawn approaches. I need all of you to roll initiative. Oh, oh. And so this for this, for this point, yeah. sorry. Little I was gonna Jimmy say we can take a break before we had. A Actually, battle, that is a good point. So why don't we take a break and then when we come back, do we roll first or do we roll? We'll after? roll afterwards. Okay. okay. So we're just gonna take a break, a five minute break, and we'll be back after intermission, and then the battle. Yeah, begins. it's our first intermission, guys. Ah!